Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 amazing hidden features that you will find on your iPhone running on iOS 14 that you probably didn't even know about. Now, before I get into the video, I just want to ask you guys to smash that like button as it does help out a lot. And also don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Also, make sure you hang out until the end of the video because I have an extra hidden feature which will actually blow your mind. All right, starting things off with screen recording. You probably know about it. It's in the control center. You tap right here and start to record the screen of your iPhone. Now, if you don't have it, you can actually add it by going to the settings and right here under control center, you can just tap the plus button at screen recording. Now, did you know that you can actually also record a voice over while you're recording the screen of your iPhone? So just press and hold here and turn on the microphone from here. So you will get this option right here to turn on the microphone. And then you can just go ahead and tap to record the screen of your iPhone while you can basically do a voiceover of whatever you're recording. So you can see right now the microphone is on and while it's recording, you can stop the microphone, turn it on or off as it is recording the screen of your iPhone. On iOS, you have the ability to hide pictures on the Photos app. And now you can also hide the hidden album, but it's still on the settings and everyone knows about it. Everyone will be able to basically unlock that album. What you can do is use a very neat trick. Go ahead and go to the photo that you actually want to hide and tap the share button. From here, all you gotta do is just tap on the notes here and create a new note. Now what you can do here is create this note and then lock it. Now, once you have saved that photo into notes, all you gotta do is just open that note, tap on the three dots right there and tap lock. And this way you will be able to actually lock that note. Now I can lock that of course using face ID or using a passcode. So you can see how it looks when it's locked. When you wanna lock it, of course you tap on view note and you can use your face ID or enter a passcode which you can create. Now this is very cool. You can now go ahead and just actually delete the photo from the al photos albums and then just have it right here locked under the notes app and of course whenever you want to get it back just tap right there and tap on the share button and you can save that image back on your media library while browsing on safari you can see it right here once you're scrolling like this you can see it will remove the tab at the bottom and at the top but if you scroll like this it will actually not now this is very cool and of course having a full screen here while browsing would be really awesome all you gotta do is just right here you can see these letters just swipe up on them like this and it will actually take your safari app to the full view like this and it's pretty cool now if you need them back all you gotta do is just tap right there and it will bring back the toolbar and everything now if you tap here on these letters you will get a few options and from here you can also zoom in and out on any website you want so you can see right here tap the small letter to zoom out tap the bigger one to zoom in but did you know that if you're zoomed in anyway with this or just by pinching in and out you will see here it shows the percentage how much it has been zoomed if you want to just get back to the normal to 100 percent you just tap right there on that number and it will take it back to its default when you go to safari on your ios 14 device and you go to the tabs view this is what you see from here of course you can close the tabs by pressing the x button or you can just swipe one like that to close it or maybe even rearrange them any way you like. But did you know that you will get some amazing features if you go into the landscape mode? This changes totally, so let's just move to the landscape mode. Once you go on the landscape mode, you will have some extra features. If you press and hold on one of the tabs, it allows you to rearrange the tabs. You can rearrange them by title or by website. And what you can also do is if you have a bunch of them, but you only need one of them opened, all you gotta do is just three the touch on the one that you want and tap right there. And you can see it will close out all the other tabs and will keep open just the one that you need. 
an amazing feature of iOS can be found under the settings app. I know a lot of people don't actually use this feature, but it is really important. So you go to settings, you go to emergency SOS, and right here we'll have emergency contact. Now what that is, in case of an emergency, you call SOS, of course you can do that with the side buttons. Once the SOS call is finished, it will send a text message to this contact right here, of course, to your emergency contact. What it does, it sends a text. Also, it will send your location. And even if your location changes, it will update them with your location. So that's really, really important. Now you can edit this by tapping right here. And once it takes you to your medical ID, all you gotta do here is just tap to add the emergency contact. Of course, you can add a couple of them or just one that you really need. And then of course, that contact will be contacted after the SOS call. Now, of course, since the release of the dark mode on iOS, a lot of people use it and it's of course a great feature. I use it all the time. I have it sunset to sunrise. And of course, that's the default that I use all the time. But sometimes some apps might not look that good with the dark mode on. Did you know that the Notes app actually has a feature which lets you use it on the light mode, even though you have dark mode turned on, all you gotta do is just on one of your notes, tap the 3D dots right there and just swipe all the way down and you will have here use light background and this will allow you to actually use the dark mode and have your notes on the light mode so if you like this better while taking notes then you can do this simply by going here just swipe up and there you go you will have back the light background on your notes the notes app has a great feature that lets you create lists like this when you can actually check your items and that's really cool but if you have a long list and you check a few of them that will be a mess you won't actually see which ones you have already checked and which ones you have to check what you can do about that is head on to the settings app and find notes and right here we'll find sort checked items go ahead and tap on automatically and now here's what it does once you have checked an item it will automatically move it to the bottom of the list so here we have that one it just moves it to the bottom just like that as easy as that so that's very useful and of course very very convenient when on the apple maps app did you know that you can actually share like any address any location that you find on the map so let's say you're just browsing something and you want to share like a certain location you want to send it to someone all you gotta do is just 3d touch on it and then just tap that red dot right there tap and hold and you will be able to actually share this location with someone you can send it on iMessage or email whatever you want and he will have the location and you can just basically send it to anyone you want so whether that be your location or like something a point that you want to point out to something like maybe an interesting place or something like that you can go ahead and share that on the maps app you might know that on the maps app you can actually check the weather for the current city you're viewing so you have the weather right there and you can also 3d touch on it and it will expand like this and it will show you more details but if you tap on this it will actually take you to the weather app and here of course you will have the ability to view the full like weather forecast for that city also if you're viewing a city on the on the weather app you can actually see that city on maps simply by swiping down here and tap open in maps and last but not least here is the amazing hidden feature that i talked about so this is actually really really interesting i found out about this i believe it was on reddit and it's pretty cool actually but i don't know what to say so if you have airpods or airpods pro and connect them to your iphone you know that there is a feature called hearing right here now you might not might know about that but this is really interesting so if you don't see that you can actually go to the settings app and go to control center and just enable hearing from the list here now once you have done that what you can do connect your airpods and then go to hearing if you just 3d touch there you can have an option called live listen now live live listen will actually pick up the sound from the iphone's mic and transmit it to your airpods now the really interesting part is that if you take your iphone with live listen on 
and just place it above your heart, you will actually hear your heart beats and you will hear them pretty, pretty clearly. Now, if you have like a hoodie or something, make sure you remove it and you're just on a T and just make sure you place this part right here, the bottom grill to your heart and have live listen on, of course, with your AirPods on and you will be able to listen to your heart beat. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and these awesome features that you will find on your device running iOS 14. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more and leave a like and I'll see you on the next one.